Northrop Grumman's 15th Commercial Resupply Services mission is loaded with nearly 8,000 pounds of cargo and critical research supplies ready for launch to the International Space Station. This mission, contracted through NASA, will launch from Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia with more than 10 payloads sponsored by the ISS U.S. National Laboratory. These payloads showcase the diversity of research sponsored by the ISS National Lab with investigations in the physical and life sciences, materials research, and the validation of new facilities to further R&D in low Earth orbit. Here's an overview of some of the payloads flying on Northrop Grumman's CRS-15. In 2017, engineers from Hewlett Packard Enterprise launched a high-performance computer called the Spaceborne Computer to the International Space Station to test whether a commercial off-the-shelf computer system without any hardware modifications could operate seamlessly in the extreme conditions of space. Using special software designed to protect the hardware, the Spaceborne Computer successfully operated inside the ISS for more than a year and a half. Based on this success, Hewlett Packard Enterprise will now launch its second iteration of the Spaceborne computer, this time delivering twice the computational power and providing in space data processing capabilities. Researchers will be able to process data on board the ISS rather than sending the data back to Earth for analysis, enabling faster results. Redwire will launch its sixth commercial facility to the ISS for validation on this mission the Industrial Crystallization Facility. Crystals grown in microgravity are often larger and more well-ordered than Earth-grown crystals. The Industrial Crystallization Facility will provide a space-based platform for the growth and formulation of centimeter-scale single crystals and other exotic materials for use in the optics and sensor industries. The production of larger and more perfect crystals could lead to the development of higher quality optics as well as radiation sensors that are better able to detect trace signals. Validation of the Industrial Crystallization Facility will also provide a proof of concept for applied industrial materials production in microgravity. This mission will support multiple payloads that will leverage the MISI Flight Facility, a commercial platform designed and operated by Alpha Space Test and Research Alliance on the exterior of the ISS. In the harsh space environment, samples are exposed to extreme temperature variations, enhanced radiation levels, and atomic oxygen. Three separate investigations will utilize the MISI Flight Facility. An agricultural investigation evaluating the effects of the space environment on barley seeds, an academic study examining how phosphor powders and composites react in space, and a private sector experiment testing the durability of 3D printed radio frequency circuits in space for potential use in future small satellites. In 2018, innovative startup LAM Division launched an investigation focused on a protein-based retinal implant aiming to restore high-resolution vision and enhance the quality of life for patients with retinal degeneration. The company sought to leverage the space station's constant microgravity environment to improve the manufacturing process for its retinal implant. The investigation launching on this mission builds on the company's previous research and results may accelerate pathways to improve patient care on Earth and further in-space production efforts on the ISS. These are just a few of the investigations launching on this mission that seek to bring value to our nation and further establish a robust, sustainable market in low Earth orbit. To learn more about all the investigations sponsored by the ISS National Lab on Northrop Grumman CRS-15, please visit our website at www.issnationallab.org.